。不论是纽约还是西谷，像这样办公室招租的告示随处可见，在财经专家眼里其实相当触目惊心。The environment is certainly shifting on Main Street, and it's weighing on optimism. Losses at the bank level, right? There's going to be losses at the investors level, and I think for The you know, cities, right? They're going to have this potential, this urban doom loop. 专家好像是在危言耸听，但他们口中的城市死循环可能已经在美国的主要大城市上演。其实这跟后疫情时代还在远距上班有很大的关系。不像以往需要这么大量的办公室建筑，上班大楼不再抢手，州政府也跟着伤透脑筋。So、we see a lot of companies downsizing. We see a lot of companies not renewing their leases at all and consolidating. And with this demand decline for office comes declines in the revenue. Revenues for the owners of those offices and value declines in these offices. Declines in property values reduce property tax revenues for the city. The cities have to balance their budget. They now need to cut spending. That means less money for public safety, for sanitation, for transportation, for education. Makes the city a less attractive place to live. People migrate out. 美国很多州都大量仰赖地产税，像是拿纽约来说，地产税就占了四成以上，商用房产税更是占了一成。所以。只要这些办公室大楼的房价大跌百分之四十，纽约的税收就等于少了百分之四，一年一千亿预算就少了四十亿，要想办法弥补。不只是办公大楼租不出去，让这些州政府很心痛。远距上班间接推升人口流失，税收缺口也越来越大。Rich people pay a disproportionate share of income taxes. You know, in New York, for example, a few thousand taxpayers are paying half of all taxes. Migration has become easier because you can leave the city without leaving your job. So, if a few rich、uh, people or families leave, that could leave a large hole in the budget. The technology sector has been more permissive to remote work, and so those cities tend to be affected the most. You know, think of places like San Francisco, Seattle. West Coast city, sort of more generally, 不止冲击到政府税收，对金融产业也造成庞大的冲击。Ten years later, when my loan comes due, I need to refinance that loan. Now, normally, that's not a problem because normally the value of my office will have gone up in these past ten years. But what if it hasn't? What if the value of my office has in fact gone down? So now the bank will look at that office all over again and reassess it. And to the extent it's even willing to give me a new loan, it's going to only want to give me a smaller loan. 对这些办公大楼的房东来说，银行给的贷款不够，要再投入资金等招租并不划算，干脆让银行把闲置的办公大楼给收回去。但对银行来说，也是接下烫手山芋。So banks are facing this deterioration in, in, in basically the credit quality on these commercial mortgages that they have on their books. So these smaller regional banks that have done a lot of local commercial real estate lending, they're now tightening the screws on the credit. For the local non-real estate firms as well, that is sort of a traditional credit crunch. Commercial real estate is a very large asset class. There's about five trillion dollars of commercial real estate out there, and whether you know it or not, you know you, your、uh, pension fund might very well have an exposure to commercial real estate directly or indirectly. 银行还有政府体系的金流停滞，冲击到民众的福利，还有企业运作，更没有钱去租办公大楼或是买房，等于进入一个恶性循环。专家表示，要打破这样的死循环，就是要善用闲置的办公大楼，创造新商机。We have a great opportunity to change the mix of uses in the downtown. Make it easier. Uh, to convert unused office space to housing. 因此，不少城市由政府带头大推办公室改建成公寓。尽管因为法规加上格局，其实商用大楼改成住宅并不容易。但专家认为，包括改建成商场等各种娱乐场所，也都是不同的思考方向。当民众的生活方式改变，城市也应该跟着转变。原地踏步，就只能被困在死循环当中。体育业新闻综合报道。想看最完整的新闻内容，记得下载 TVBS 新闻网 APP。